I think we were just a group of guys that came together at a point in time that really loved the game and really loved each other. We had so much <laughs> passion for the game and so much pride in what we did. In week 11 in Dallas, the Bears played more passionately than ever. It was the student versus the teacher. Tom Landry always understood that Coach Ditka respected him. We wanted to play as hard and as physical as we possibly could, but we wanted to do it with class. I mean, they were America's team. It changed in a big way that day. White backpedals underneath his crossbar, fires right side of the ball, tipped in the air by Hamlin, picked up by Dent, spins to the end zone, touchdown! 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 Cowboys were shut out for the first time in 15 years. It was the worst loss in franchise history. And back to Phil Huggable, that's given away to hurry over the middle, intercepted by Richardson, 35, 30, down the right side, and the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Mike Richardson and the Chicago Bears. Their offense could do nothing yet, nothing against our defense, nothing. You know, I had to tell Buddy, call off the dogs, but they have a right to have fun. And Buddy just tell, hey, you know, you, I run the defense, get out of here. The Bears did ease up, but by then, it was too late. When it was over, the student was just as crushed as his teacher. I never felt worse in my life when he came up and said, uh, you guys are good. And, and you know, I, I said, Coach, I'm sorry. He said, you guys are good. That's all he said. The Bears were division champions. At 11-0, they were undefeated, led by a defense that was unblockable. The 1985 Bears defense may have been the best in NFL history. The big hits and its renowned reputation echo to this day. Hey, fellas, fellas, what are they, unblockable? Is that the 85 Bears over there? Huh? Buddy Ryan created the 46 defense. It was a complex scheme with a simple aim. Attack the quarterback with overwhelming numbers. Mike Singletary was the 1985 Defensive Player of the Year and master of the 46. The 46 defense, um, to make it very plain and to the point, is all about pressure. It is all about pressure. We're going to come at you, and we're going to hit your quarterback until you get another one in. We're trying to lose the horses now. We're get another quarterback in there. We're coming. It was a nightmare, I know, for the quarterback. First of all, you have Otis and Wilbur next to each other, that quarterback's looking out of his eye. Then you got Dent on the other side. Then you got Hampton in front of you, and then, then the fridge, and, and then Steve McMichael. That's not very good. If you blocked all of them, then who had Mike Singletary? If you picked him up, then who blocked number 45, Gary Fensick? In 1985, no one figured it out. We're gonna keep coming, and we're gonna keep you guessing, and we're gonna keep you thinking. We're not ducking and dodging, we're gonna have fun because the 46 defense was as physical and as nasty as, as you want to get. I was a coach, but I was a fan. I mean, I watched. I watched and I marveled just like the people in the bleachers. beautiful to watch. <laughs> I enjoyed every minute of it. I'll tell you, those guys, uh, when they got on a roll like that, it was like a work of art. As that season went on, it became relentless. It was everybody did it. You know, it was Mingo, it was Richard, it was Otis, it was Marshall. Marshall was, uh, man, was he. I can still see the lick he put on Joe Ferguson up in Detroit. I'd never seen him like it. I thought he killed him. I 
I'm looking at Wilbur and I'm looking at Otis, and those guys are just barking. Mike, man, I'm gonna kill him. Wilbur, I'm gonna get that first. Dent was saying, no, I'm getting there first. And it was going on and on, and Hampton was saying, no, I'm getting there first. And, and I'm looking at these guys and I'm saying, wait, 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 the guy is bleeding. The guy is bleeding at the mouth, the guy is bleeding at the nose. You don't have to kill the guy. We don't care. He's the quarterback. We're going to get him. That's what we do. In a three-game stretch in November, the Bears' defense scored more points than it gave up. The fridge soared to new heights, and with McMahon sidelined, Walter Payton carried them, rushing for 100 yards in a record nine straight games. Chicago was 12-0 and headed for a Monday night showdown in